morning everyone welcome back to another vlog got up pretty early to be honest for me i feel like i've evolved over the last few years i used to do the 5 30 club religiously and if you followed me back in 2020 you would know what the 5 30 club is but pretty much like you meet a bunch of people at a cafe at 5 30 a.m every single day and that's what i used to do but i haven't done that for probably the past year i really love my sleep and when i don't get as much sleep as i need i'm struggling i'm just on struggle street today my friends and i went to a keep it cleaner influencer event this morning and it was so much fun yeah i guess like meeting everybody and just like hanging out with a bunch of girls this morning it was probably only like half an hour which was so fast, especially for an event in the city. Maddie and I ended up coming back to Cronulla and going and getting an acai bowl for breakfast afterwards. Keeping in mind that we were back in Cronulla by like nine o'clock in the morning. It was amazing. But I've just dropped Maddie back off at hers and now we are heading home. I can't really remember what's on the agenda for today, but I know I've got to go home and have a shower because I was a sweaty mess. Anyway, we are going home. Home, having a shower, hanging out with Simi and getting stuck into some work and I'll take you guys along for the day. Oh, you guys have to excuse me because I am so tired. I just, yeah, did not have the best sleep last night. So you're going to deal with a bit of a sleepy Jessie today. I'm so sorry. But I'm pulling out the wheel because I've got some trimming to do. I know that not all of you really care about ceramics or pottery, but at least like some of you find it satisfying to watch. So I thought I'd include it in this vlog. So yesterday I'll pop a little clip on the screen. I made a few pieces. Um, so pretty much after you've made the pieces, you have to come back a bit later when they're a bit harder so you can trim the bottom. So that's what I'm doing today. And I just want to forewarn that I've never done it before. I hand build all of my pieces. So this is very new for me. And I low key do kind of hate using the wheel because it is so time consuming to set up and pack away and everything. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I'm definitely no professional, that's for sure. Oh, I need to like pin it down, don't I? That's why I should pin it down. Simi, do you want to come and have a nap? Hi guys. <laughs> what have you got? That's pretty cool, dude. Don't you look so handsome? Are you a cutie? I know I run a pottery business, but seriously, the wheel is way harder than it looks and it's kind of doing my head in. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm tired. Today of all days, I decided to film a day in my life. I'm just so tired because I absolutely didn't get enough sleep last night and I'm not encouraging that at all. I'm always team eight to nine hours sleep for me personally. That's what my body thrives best off. But last night I maybe got six and a half hours, seven hours. Not even caffeine could pull me out of this, that's for sure. I don't know how people do daily vlogs. How do people find enough interesting content in their day? I think about this all the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if today was a daily vlog and I've literally just been a blob on the couch with my computer doing emails all day? I'm like, how would I actually do daily vlogs? I do watch daily vloggers, but I could never. I'm so sorry. Someone I watch every single day without fail is Colleen. <laughs> And I have for like maybe 10 years, which is wild. Oh, probably like eight or nine years. But she is just like my comfort person. I just love her. And she's just her twins. Okay, can someone please explain how she is daily vlogging? Newborn twins and a toddler. I don't have excuses. If that's what she can do, 
far out, Simmy. What are we doing? I love you. He's so little. When we got a golden retriever, we were thinking we were going to get this massive dog. He's about half the size of a normal golden retriever. Um, I mean, you're special. You're normal, but you're special. He's only like 25 kilos. And his brother is double the size. Like his twin brother. I'm just tired and delusional now. I'm babbling, so I'm going to go and make some lunch. I hope this kind of makes you guys feel a little bit better about your kitchen being messy, if it is, because this is an issue. I just exposed myself. What should we do tonight? Ooh, garlic and thyme chicken. Maybe I'll do that, but with like chicken and sausages. What else have I got? I think I have tofu. Ooh, yes, we do. Oh, this is a mess. I just feel like extra shit about everything when the house is messy. <laughs> the fridge is empty. Oh, oh, I have spinach. I've just made lunch. I've sat down to watch Colleen's new vlog. I've literally just made like tuna, rice, spinach, sweet chili, deliciousness, and a lot of it. So I made a huge one, which I'm so, so happy about. Okay, so I know this is a day in the life vlog, but I had to include the next morning because we started the day with a gym session and then went to one of our favorite house inspections we've ever been to. But let's have a little look inside. I would love to know what you guys think of this house. So it has a huge courtyard at the back, no grass, which kind of sucks. The kitchen is gorgeous. I love the gold details, but if you come downstairs, we have a media room, the garage, so this is the first floor, technically. It has the lift as well, which is unbelievable. And then we come back up the stairs to the main floor, and then if you go up one more flight of stairs, this is where the bedrooms are. So down here we have the main bathroom. I was just saying to Jordi how I didn't really like the countertops with all the fake cracks in it. I don't know if I like that. Then if you come into the master bedroom, this is absolutely insane. You have this huge walk-in wardrobe. I honestly don't even know how I'd fill those, but this is the bathroom with this incredible bath. I just know Simba would love that. Then we have the two bedrooms upstairs. Plain and simple, got the cupboards, all of that good stuff. And then if we come up the final flight of stairs, so this is the fourth floor, we have the two outdoor patio areas, which is beautiful. I love this shipping container sort of vibe. I think this looks so, so cute. But on the other side of the patio, we have a second barbecue. I don't know who needs two barbecues, but okay. Um, and then you have these beautiful ocean views. And then actually we went to the car yard and Geordie bought a new car. And I was looking at some for myself, but I, um, I think I'll wait a little bit longer, but yay for Geordie. He got a new car. How amazing is that? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed.